5 Things You Might Not Know About Jeff Grosso Welcome one more time to your channel. Be ready to watch extraordinary people with amazing talents. If you are not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Hello. In today's video we are talking about this legendary skateboarder and host of YouTube's Vans Lava Letters to Skateboarding, Jeff Grosso died unexpectedly at the age of 51 on 31st March 2020. He was born on 28 April 1968 in Glendale, California, and when he was five years old, he got his first skateboard. His mother brought it from her boss which was a California surfer board, and he couldn't even stand on that thanks to the hill area. So, rather than standing on that, he sat on that and rolled down the hill and enjoyed it until he dissolved the wheels. His mother realized his passion and love for skateboard thus she gifted him a spanking new California Comet skateboard. Here are five things you might not know about Jeff Grosso. Number 1. Jeff Grosso Career Jeff commenced his professional career when he was 12 years old and took part in an exceedingly contest and won it. After that, it just kept occurring like this for him despite skateboarding at that point still not popular. Together with his friends, he roamed across the town to search out new parks where they will ride, and later he started skateboarding at homemade ramps and pipes. Jeff was so dedicated thereto and only thanks to his toil, he got a scholarship from Veriflex. Upon completion of high school studies, he continued skateboarding and turned pro for Schmidt Sticks before coming to Santa Cruz. Talking about his experience on 80s circuits he said, it was a killer. I got to travel the world and hang out with Hosnoy and the Guns and the Texans, like Craig Johnson, Gibson, and Phillips. I skated with Graholski and all the East Coast dudes, Josh Marlowe and Fred Smith. Skateboarding, as far as the people that did it, was still super small. It had died off, and everyone was just doing it for the love of it. Then all this money started coming back into it. Number 2. Drug Overdose and Suicide Attempt Despite his immense success during the sport, he was captivated with drugs and there have been plenty of ups and downs throughout his career. He stated in an interview that he had tried out every drug found within the book and he was badly within the addiction of pain pills. Jeff once tried to kill himself after an overdose of three times of heroin at his mother's home. Number 3. Death and Cause on March 31, 2020, Jeff Grosso suddenly died at the age of 51. His death news was first disclosed by the skateboarding trans world. However, they didn't release further details on the net. The magazine company revealed that the skateboarder died in his direct coast in Mesa, California, USA. Moreover, Michael Burnett of Thrasher magazine also confirmed the news of his passing with a tribute. Number 4. Jeff Grosso Net Worth Jeff was one among the highly reputed persons within the skateboarding, so many considered him a good wealth of entertainment. Throughout his entire career, he was focused and dedicated towards his passion and amassed such a lot worth and fortune from it. However, the precise number of his net worth isn't available at the instant. Number 5. Important Facts About Jeff Grosso First of all, he was born in Glendale, California and raised in Arcadia, Los Angeles. Second, while growing up, he spent some part of his childhood at Eagle Rock, California. Third, his real name was Jeff Grasso which was original Italian, and it means far. Fourth, later his family moved to the USA and changed to Grasso. Fifth, the acid trip back in 1986 was his best trip ever. Sixth, besides skateboard, he liked to take photos, run, and yoga as well. Seventh, he died suddenly at his home in Costa Mesa where he was living with his eight years old son Oliver. Thanks for spending some time with us amazing people, make sure to like and subscribe to don't miss any other videos, we also handpicked these videos which we recommend you to watch next. 
you can talk to us in social media. Thank you for being an amazing person and hope to have you back tomorrow.